our color. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, <laughs> says welcome too. Our lives have just been kind of crazy lately, and I wanted to film an update video for you so we could at least say hello. Can you say hi? And tell you what's been going on with us. Shall we get, shall we get started? So Cookie's been doing great. We've actually been flying her a lot more than normal because she just seems to be very bored and agitated, screaming a lot at us. We got kind of lazy about letting her fly. It's been a great exercise for her. She's like working hard for those treats, you guys. Aren't you? It's a mess. Woo! Are you pretty? Say hi, Cookie. Hello. My house has been an absolute disaster. I have stuff everywhere on every surface, it seems like. You can see everything back there. So I have been spring cleaning in October. So that's what I've been doing this week. Cleaning things, putting them away. I was sewing masks for like several months. I had my sewing machine everywhere. Tons of material. I started making blankets for friends. I mean, just like the craziest stuff. So I have stuff all over the place. I'm putting it away. I'm getting cleaned up. I'm getting all my fall decorations out. It's actually cool outside right now. You're gonna spill your water everywhere. I think it's a whole... Oh, well, it's 82 degrees outside right now, but it has been 70, 65 in the morning. It's so nice. And it's supposed to get hot again. I know some of you live in like really cold climate areas and I'm sorry. I finally replaced all the bedding in their outdoor aviary. So it looks so much nicer. I'm using the crushed walnut by KT instead of the K cob, which is a crushed corn cob because that stuff is like stepping on a child's toy when it gets all over the floor. And this stuff is much more like sand. It's supposed to be very low dust. I'm sure that's not entirely accurate just because of what comes out of the bag. But for now it's working really well for us. It's much easier to scoop like kitty litter instead of like scooping rocks. My husband's being incredibly loud, so I can't film out there. So we'll come inside. I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Basically, just update you on what the heck is going on and why I haven't really been filming very much. So, we... Y'all are making a mess on me. We have one child so far, Emma, and she is about to turn two, and we've been looking to get pregnant, and we actually had Emma via IVF. So, we're basically going through all the stuff that it takes to get pregnant through IVF again with the remaining embryo that we have. So that's been something that we've been going through, or I guess, I mean, technically I've been going through it. Yeah. So during all the tests and everything that they do, they found that um, my uterus wasn't quite where it needed to be. So I had to have a minor procedure in order to become ready. So that's something I've been dealing with the last couple of weeks. I had to have surgery, it was not a big deal. So now I'm all better and we're moving forward. So that's good news. Right. Hopefully I have an update for y'all sooner than later that another baby is on the way, but not yet. I'm sure I'll be uh, doing some sort of announcement showing my big bad tummy, hopefully. And we're putting in a bird room. I know we already have a bird room, but it's not quite really a bird room because it's a bedroom. We currently have a three bedroom house. It used to be four bedrooms and we removed one of the bedrooms to make this large living space. And so I've given you, I think, a brief tour into this kind of mother-in-law suite back here. It's a giant, giant bedroom full of garbage. 
This bedroom's on the back of our house. It's nice and quiet back here. And because we don't really have a lot of company, I don't really use it as a guest room. And so after we had our consult with Jamie and Dave, are you saying hi, Mango? Are you just trying to get some more snacks? After our consult with Jamie and Dave, we basically decided that we needed to have a bedroom for our birds and they got moved into this back bedroom because we don't really use it. And our upstairs uh, bedrooms, because our house was built in 1932, our house is kind of, of a, our house is kind of like a split level. <laughs> Runaway peach. <laughs> Our, our house is kind of like a split setup. So the front's pier and beam, the back is a slab and they added extra bedrooms onto the back part of the house when they added onto it. So there were two bedrooms and I guess this was the master bedroom because there's a bathroom right there. And it's the nice bathroom in our house, but we don't use this room. And the other bedroom upstairs is Emma's bedroom because we all sleep better when she's in her own room and not our room, right? So the dilemma is I have nowhere for anyone to stay when they come to my house. Not like I said, we have a lot of people come spend the night, but a lot of my friends have moved out of town and I'd like to be able to have a place for them to sleep that's not my couch, that's private and not with Cookie and these crazies. So I told my husband, I really wanna build a wall in here. So that's what we're doing. There's a closet right here. So the closet in the bathroom and this side of the room will become the guest room. So the wall will literally go kind of right down the middle here. So the ceiling fan will have to go. We'll have to put in extra vent and this will be the bird's room on this side. So I'll walk through and show you what it'll kind of look like from their side. So this will be the guest room side. When you walk into the back of my house, there's this hallway here and there's the laundry room and the dogs sleep in here. We used to have this really tiny laundry room and the wall ended right there. And this was just a storage room. So I had my husband, of course, remove that, which he was super happy to do for me and move all the plumbing down there. And this is where the bedroom door actually apparently used to be. But when my husband removed this bedroom, this door got closed over because you could go through by the bathroom over there. So this is our new door that I love because it's super thick and insulated. So this will be the area you walk through and the wall will go straight down the middle where that fan is. So basically the wall will be like right behind this door. So you'll have this walk-in space. The birds will have their own window. I'm going to put probably peach and mangoes cages right next to Sam's. And this is where the air conditioning unit is for downstairs. We put it in this big closet. And then as the wall kind of goes right along here through the middle of the bed, Cookie's cage will go right here. So we'll have like a good four or five feet of walking space in here. Listen, y'all be nice. Can't y'all just get along? I gave y'all snacks so you'd be good. Y'all are making a mess but I have to clean anyway, so. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on with us. Nothing overly exciting or bad or great. I mean, I guess it's exciting to some people for us to have another baby. I was not like a huge fan of being pregnant or anything. It's really hard to go through delivery. Some people think it's great. I'm not one of them. <laughs> but I love my kid and we really want to have another one. So that's what we're doing. And, oh my gosh, I guess I probably have some level of baby fever because our vet keeps posting different birds that are up for adoption and y'all, somebody stopped me. I keep sending them all to, all to my husband and he's like, why do you keep sending me these birds? I'm like, cause Cookie could use a friend. Cause I need one more animal to take care of, right? Oh yeah, Sam is doing really great too. He is still BFFs with Lily, our Pomeranian. I was actually sitting on her back the other day. He's so funny. I think that he is just feeling super at home. I've actually noticed two feathers that he's molted lately. I really don't see many others. One of them, he's sort of destroying it after it fell out. So I think that's just sort of like his thing to do now. Thankfully he's not, doesn't appear to be actually pulling out any of his feathers. So 
Now that COVID is kind of calming down, I think I'm gonna try to get these guys in and get their nails trimmed because they are scratching me up, aren't you? They're like, are you talking to us? Cause we're so busy. Hey, be nice, Peach. See what I mean? She's a bully. So anyways, our project has been kind of delayed because we realized that the floor in here slopes that way. And we're not sure quite what's going on. It appears that there was water in here at some point because there was. So we have to like fix that and level the floor. I think this used to be a patio and that's why the floor is sloped. You can see there's like a door there and everything that goes out onto our pool deck from the back of the house. So Mike actually pulled up the carpet like halfway and I don't even care about cleaning it anymore because it's gonna get thrown out. Yep, so that's that. Me. Peachy. So I wanna film some more interesting stuff for you guys. Drop a note below if you have any ideas on some videos that you'd like to see coming up for me here in the next couple of months. The weather is cooler, so it's a little easier for me to sit outside with these guys before I would just do it and sweat. All for the love of YouTube, huh? Huh. Get all my makeup off. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, we appreciate you and we will see you next week. Say bye. Peach. Bye. <laughs>